because uh, we we have to observe uh, uh, cost, something like that. I'm not sure I understand the question. Would you try again? Okay. Example. What section are you referring to? For example, this is, I think this just, I just uh, went back a bit. Uh, well, given that uh, uh, there was a question um, also, uh, also raised. Uh, for example, um, the College of Bishops to constitute the, and, and uh, organize the executive committee uh, of the program and reception at later than one year. Uh, and uh, I saw this, uh, this, um, this kind of allowance to, no, this kind of uh, timetable for some of the committees also. What if the committee was not able to convene in before one year or in one year time? What would, happens to that? Would you help the chair try to answer your, get your question answered? Tell me what page are you referring to and which uh, Page six, section seven, because uh, some of this. <laughs> in the, because this is also true to the other committees. We, we have, uh, we've gone past page six, section seven. Um, we want to care for the interests of the body and I'm, I'm not clear of uh, the impact of this question. We've already passed that section. It doesn't seem to be an amendment. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be an amendment. So may, may we ask that uh, you have administrative committees that are empowered to resolve uh, problems of uh, caring for the interests of the conference. Okay. So do you have an amendment uh, uh, to one of the sections in Article 3? Uh, no, Bishop. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Yes? Uh, this is an addition, additional phrase. For please, please give your name and conference ah. and, and tell us where your the page will help us locate what you're talking about. I'm Edith Ausa from the Nelpak conference. Okay. It's found on page nine. Back to page nine. Page nine, committee on elections, line. We, we're, not, uh, we're not working on page nine. That has been uh, taken under advisement and your presiding office was, will come back with, uh, in response to the previous question. We are on Article page 11. Ay, table muna. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay, okay thank you. Anyone in, in section two, page 11? Page 12? Section five? Six? About page 13, section 7. I mentioned six. Anything on any of those? All right, let's move to Article 4. The Episcopal Address and Laity Address. Any uh, action you want to take on any of the sections on page 13? Yes? Joy Eva Bohol from the Visayas Philippines Annual Conference. I'd like to amend section three and reiterate what, the, what has been mentioned earlier. From youth address, it, it should be, uh, I amend to young people's address and then the entire section. There shall be a young people's address that shall be delivered and then strike out the words by a youth or young, a young adult and instead just continue with in any of the sessions subsequent to the presentation of the lady address. Again, there shall be a young people's address that shall be delivered 
in any of the sessions subsequent to the presentation of the Leyte address. All right. Uh, just to remind you that uh, in the earlier statement, the chair on behalf of the committee agreed to make that substitution in every place that it appears. So you will still see it printed for now, but they've already agreed to make that change in their final report. Yes, uh, so I was just amending that to strike out this uh, by a youth or a young adult. Right, this one. that was a part of what they had accepted, so an additional amendment is not needed now. Thank you. They've already agreed to do that. Yes? Early Passion, North Central Philippines. Uh, Bishop, this might be a fr friendly amendment also to what Joy has said. To say in section 3, page 13, there shall be a young people's address that shall be delivered by a youth or a young adult designated by the Council, National Council on Young People's Ministry. Okay. Is that something you can accept? Can you st restate that as the chair can hear it again? This is on page 13, section 3. Even if I have not heard it, Bishop, I will say accepted. Okay. So she wants to make sure the wording, and he's agreed to accept it without us having to vote on it. Okay. The only thing that would uh, add to that is that the, uh, the yeah, yeah. presenters would be designated by the National Council on the Young People's Ministry. That's a part of what you've accepted, all and, right? We would ask you to make sure you write it down so the secretary has it. Please continue. And also, that will be parallel to Article 2, Section 6.2 on page 9. Okay. On page 5, rather. So that in all the places that are affected, yes. That, yes, would, that would be reflected. That's agreed. Section, section 6.2, that would say, except for the Episcopal and Episcopal, lady, and young people's addresses. Right, that's accepted. All right. All right, I think we're ready to move from 13. We're on page 14, Article 5. Anything in sections 1, 2, 3, or 4? Thank you, Bishop Brown, uh, Levi Bautista, Northern Philippines clergy. In section three, Bishop, uh, I'd like to ask a question first and then determine the section course of action. Three. Section three. The requirement prescribed under line 382, which says at least four consecutive years, my reading of the discipline does not require any number of years. It simply requires that you are an elder. This would, my course of action would be to again ask for a ruling of the chair okay. if this does not affect 401, 402, 403, 404, 405. So this is what you're requesting? Well, before I go there, I, I think it is fair to you to first post the question so that you can. So it's the four years, the, the, it, does the current book of discipline require a number of years beyond being elder. What the chair would do, rather than to give you an immediate ruling, would be during a recess to take time to carefully review the matter before giving you an answer. In that same spirit as the previous, I, I yield to that. Uh, okay, so you would request a ruling on that. Would you write it down, please? And this is uh, section uh, three. Please put it in writing. All right. Anything else other than section three on page 14? Attorney Cowell. Uh, Bishop, I would like to uh, respectfully uh, make an amendment on section four by way of uh, a uh, perfection of the provision. 
and the proposed amendment is by uh, deleting uh, in uh, line number three the phrase an annual conference comma preferably so that it will read as follows endorsement nomination by the annual conference an eligible elder who is interested to serve in the episcopal office shall secure the endorsement and or nomination of the annual conference of which he is a member so that he may be considered for Episcopal election. If I have a second, I will speak on this, uh, Bishop. Bishop, uh, my argument is very simple. If we will leave this open-ended, so much so that apart from the annual conference to which a, uh, an aspirant belongs, if it is open to other annual conferences, then it might open the floodgates to aspirants shopping for an annual conference uh, that, may be, uh, that be, may be amenable to him. And we might see the prospect of so many candidates not probably acceptable in the annual conference where he belongs so that he can go to other annual conferences where he can get the endorsement. That is my simple argument uh, on this amendment. Right. You've heard uh, the motion and it was seconded. Yes. Thank you for your patience, Bishop. Uh, I Levy Bautista, Northern Philippines. I speak on section four. I have full appreciation of the notion of shopping for an Episcopal area, but again, founded on connectionalism and the itineracy. A bishop, Leontine Kelly, with the first woman bishop, an African-American woman, would not have been perhaps elected had she not been elected by, an, by another jurisdiction. At the core of the discipline, again, is the itineracy of the elder. I beg to differ that when one seeks to be elected in another, in the, in the contemplation of the Book of Discipline, I beg to differ that is not shopping for an annual conference. But if one wants to be elected in another annual conference, this is the wise body to decide whether that person is the one that you want to serve you. But as an elder, that person who comes before us, who is not a member of an annual conference, I beg to differ, that person is not shopping for an annual for a, a place to be elected as a bishop. All right. Yes, sir. Camilo Toledo from MINPAC. Bishop, I just have uh, an inquiry. Uh, would there be, would this section be, uh, would uh, it's matter of relevance, Bishop, on committee elections in this section, would they be, would they have resemblance or something? Now, if we approve this and uh, we submitted the elections committee to you for ruling, and if it is negative, what would happen? to this section? Um, there are overlapping issues in the two sections to answer your question. And should, would it be proper for us to submit these two? That is your play, that is up to you. I submit Bishop. <laughs> you, all right. I would, I would uh, move that we submit this for your ruling. Re, re, okay. Would you put it in writing, please? And, and be specific to, to what you want us to rule on. Please write it down and be specific. We'll come back and we will consider that if you do so. Yes. Hello. Uh, Bishop uh, Reverend Aristides Balatan from Habite, PACC. When we read all these issues, uh, Section 3, 
four and five, six. Uh, there, there is a uh, relationship with regards to the issue that uh, Pastor Levy had raised before when we stop or uh, suspend uh, Section E. Because there's a relationship between this. When we approve committee on election or rejected, everything, the wisdom of this uh, Section 125, I think it's not already valid if we delete Section E. Because everything will be submitted to that committee. So if uh, I'm right, Bishop, uh, we will include this one until you, uh, you will see and assess that letter E, Committee on Election, is okay. That's good. All right. If that is your, your wish to refer these for consideration, uh, well, I'll take that as a motion. Now, are you seconding that motion? Bishop, that was the spirit of my motion. That was the spirit of your motion. Okay. If you would agree to refer these. We will write. It will be the one okay. writing the motion. If you would agree to refer these for review, uh, would you say yes? Opposed, no. It is referred. Um, you have been working hard. I'm thinking you do a break. Um, I know there's a lot of work waiting for us when we get to it, but we want to do this right. So can we uh, take a break until 4? Is that okay? All right. We are in recess until 4. Yes. 